Awards because I've been nominated for Best Male Lead for The Whipping Man, which is a gripping play by one Mr. Matthew Lopez, directed by Giovanna Sardelli, who is also a nominee. Um, it's a wonderful uh, show that I uh, had the pleasure of doing at the Old Globe in San Diego last year. Uh, wonderful theater, and I'm here tonight as a result of all of our hard work, so I'm happy to be here. What's different about this award show versus, you know, many other award shows that have taken place so far? Well, it's us, you know. This is, this is us saluting us. I mean, we're all here. There's diversity among the crowds here, but, you know, this, these are our awards. You know, this is in the ACP. You know, it's a wonderful organization. It's been around for as long as anybody can remember, and we're, you know, we're here for us, so. <laughs> I'm here with Jacqueline Fleming. So what brings you out to the awards tonight? Um, well, it started earlier today. I was a presenter um, in the costume and uh, lighting department, giving out awards. And um, now I'm back to support the other uh, fellow actors that are receiving awards tonight. So this is my home. I come from theater. <laughs> so you have any projects that you've been working on or approximately about, or going to come out, actually? Yeah, I have a movie with... Um, uh, that I just did with Tim Burton where I play uh, Harriet Tubman. I'm opposite Anthony Mackie. And <laughs> so that movie comes out in June. And then I just did T.D. Jake's new film. I have a supporting lead role in that. Uh, Woman Now Art Loosed on the Seventh Day opposite Blair Underwood and Sharon Lill. And I'm in the uh, action movie Contraband opposite Mark Wahlberg. So you've been a, a very busy lady. So we're just... Is this some a passion of yours or a love? What makes you just continue to go after roles and just want to do what you're doing? Holly Berry, seriously. Um, I was I was a theater actress in New York and Chicago, and Holly Berry said to me, we were working on a movie. She said, Jack, you got to go to Hollywood. You, you really have to go to Hollywood if you want to go to the next level. And I had no intentions of doing that. I just wanted to stay in the theater world. So I'm glad that she gave me that solid advice because it's paying off. Absolutely it is. Well, thank you so much for joining us this evening, and enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you so much, and I'm honored. Thank you. I'm here with the lovely and talented... Tammy Roman from Basketball Wives Miami, and my daughter... And Lyric Chanel from Tammy's daughter from Basketball Wives. <laughs> So, were you surprised just to take off of the show and just the popularity of the show when you guys, you know, started getting in, into production and filming of it? Well, once I got on there, no. No. <laughs> no, no. Seriously, I'm glad that people, you know, like it the, the way that they do. Um, we're just six women just living our lives and, you know, good, bad, or indifferent. We're human, flaws and all, and, you know, the cameras are just there to watch us grow and learn like everyone else. What can we take from just looking at your life and looking at the lives of other women on the show and what would you want to leave with us as far as when the season ends and want us to reflect on when we watch the season? I think from my personal story, I think I, I, I'm a living testimony that God is still in the blessing business. You know, I've been through a lot of ups and downs and he seems to always bring me through. So, you know, I think if um, people look at me, they can just see as long as you st keep faith and, and, and stay fighting and not giving up, that things will turn around. And I think I'm just living proof of that. So what's next for Miss Tammy? What do we have coming up? What, give us a sneak preview of what's going on. You know, the, the thing that I have on my plate right now is I produced a short film called The Tombs, and uh, we just screened at uh, L.A. Short Fest. We're on our way to Urban World and then Rain Dance in London. So I'm very, very excited about that. And um, it's about um, one man's journey through the central booking system in New York, which is nicknamed The Tombs. And it stars uh, Nashawn Kears from Desperate Housewives. And I just wanted people to, to see Tammy in a different way. I think that people have a very specific image of me because that's all they see on Basketball Wives. And I felt it was important to dilute some of that imagery. Here with the legendary Billy D. Williams. Well, I'm here to give an, uh, an award to uh, Diane Carroll, whom I uh, have a tremendous love and respect for, so that's why I'm here. So it's a great, it's a good, good idea to remind people of the uh, the accomplishments that that a lot of these people have uh, have uh, done and created in their lives. So it's good. Well, it's great to see you, sir, being a legend that you are. Thank you so much, and enjoy the rest of your evening. Oh, thank you. 
I'm here with actor Brian White. Uh, what brings you out to the red carpet tonight? I'm presenting tonight, Best Supporting Actress with Tatiana Ali. So I'm excited to, you know, share in the celebration. What new projects are you working on currently? Uh, we, you know, I know you worked on a few before, but it seemed like you took a little break, or did you? No, uh, Politics of Love is in theaters right now. You can walk outside, walk next door to Lemley's. Myself, Ruby D, Loretta Devine, Jerry Bednam, Malika Shetterwatt. It's a U.S. Bollywood co-production. Uh, it opens up to a million, a uh, hundred million, excuse me, hundred million homes on September 1st. Um, then my next film is uh, Good Deeds by Tyler Perry, uh, Gabrielle Union, Tandy Newton, Felicia Rashad, myself a host of other actors in Tyler's first straight dramatic role, and then Joss Whedon's Cabin in the Woods next April. How was that experience working with Tyler Perry once again? Uh, each time it's a learning and growing experience. I mean, he's a mentor and he's a revelation and uh, an inspiration. You know, he's the hardest working man I know in this business, and uh, that can only lead to good things to aspire to be like somebody like that. And last question, how important is it to keep theater going and just the art form and, and, and bring it on to the next generation? Theater is everything. It's the foundation for all entertainment. If you can't perform in theater, you can't really perform. You know, I just went out on my first play with David E. Talbert this fall, um, this past fall, and we did six months on the road, and it's the type of work that you can't get anywhere else. You know, it's, it's, it's boot camp for actors, so it means everything. If you're not doing theater, you're not a real actor. So check it out. Do it. If you think you want to be on the big screen, make sure you start on the big stage. Yo, what's up? It's Brandon T. Jackson. Shout out. I know the mic is upside down, but I'm doing it on purpose. Swag. I'm here with the lovely and talented Jill Marie Jones. You remember her from Girlfriends and so many other great works. So what brings you out this evening? Um, I'm actually presenting tonight, and I'm excited. Hopefully I get to meet Diane Carroll. That would be really great. I'm from Texas, so Dynasty uh, Dyn the Colbys, that was huge for us. So, And she's just such a trailblazer, and so that would be really wonderful if I got to meet her. But I'm here to present. So I heard you're a huge sports fan, so are you still a Cowboys fan, or how's that going? I bleed blue. You know what I mean? Like, I was a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader for two years, a Dallas Maverick dancer for a year. Like, you know, it's always about Dallas. So are they, they going to take it this year, even with, with Michael Vick and the Eagles? I will always say that. Yes, they will. I'm, I'm not a fair weather. Um, I have a, well, I have a film out right now called 35 and Ticking with Kevin Hart, um, Nicole Parker, Megan Good, Tamla Jones. Um, also, too, I've developed something for myself that's kind of getting some heat. So hopefully in the fall we'll see me back on television with something that I actually created. So fingers crossed. Good. Very talented Gary Levitz. Um, and Alexi Robinson. And Alexi Robinson. And Brittany Daniels. And Brittany Daniels. And Joanna Levingston. And Joanna Levingston. Can't forget. Nominations for Gary Levingston's production of For Colored Girls Who, who Have Considered Suicide When the Rainbow is Enough. Five nominations, of which one Best Director nominated for the production. And uh, looking forward to the evening of everyone getting together, obviously, and uh, our uh, network of folks, another color girl over here who was nominated for Best Supporting Actress, Tiffany Snow. Amazing. Yeah, so that's why we're here tonight. Darling, you want to? It's all of these people, including you, that makes it so special. Right. Because we're all working towards the same goal, and that's what makes it so powerful. When we do that, we can accomplish amazing things. Everybody's worked their butt off to get here, and uh, it's so nice to be able to come and for all of us to be recognized. Um, I am here to announce Best Ensemble Cast for Regional and Local Theater. I'm very honored. I'm uh, just amazed by the company and, uh, and who's here tonight, and happy to celebrate Diane Carroll and Obabutunde and Raven Simone, and um, it's going to be a great night. So what have you been up to lately? I know we haven't seen you in a while. What's, what's been going on? Really busy. I've been really busy working. And you'll, you're going to see me in a lot of things very soon. I've got like four movies that I've just completed. I have um, The Under Shepherd, which I just wrapped with Isaiah Washington and Lamon Rucker, Melinda Williams, Vanessa Bell Calloway, Lee Sneal, Clifton Powell. It's like an amazing, amazing ensemble cast. Um, a, a directed by Russ Parr. It's a drama that takes place in the church. It's a black church drama. I'm here with the one and only Andre Jacob, owner of Drip Magazine. So what brings you out to the carpet tonight, sir? 
Yeah, a lot of things. Um, representing sports, you know, I used to play baseball, so I come back and kind of give little things back to that. But I'm here to rep promote a magazine, a TV show that Drip Magazine has, and a radio show. Uh, we have creative writers like um, who, the person who's interviewing me named Nick Hamilton. You guys really need to follow him in this magazine. Um, he's the L.A. beat. He always is grinding. He's a hustle man. And I really, you know, I'm looking just to kind of start networking with more people. Going to all the reward show, this one I think is very unique because it actually focuses on what we're doing as a collective heritage of black people. A lot of times we don't get the same recognition that we would get at maybe the Grammys or the Oscars because it's so saturated with more white talent than it is um, any other minority. And here we're able to have a piece of the pie and get a fair shake in everything we do. You are a legend amongst legends. I mean, there's. If I go over your list, I'll be here for at least a week. What does this type of award show mean to you, especially coming from the theater and seeing it evolve the way that you've seen it evolve? You know, this has been in evolution for quite some time, the, the, the theater awards. And I'm honored to be a part of it. I'm honored to be recognized tonight for the Trailblazer Award because it doesn't just speak to one thing that I've done, but a career of things, which happens to span four decades. It, you know, in theater, what you see is what you get. It's not about being able to cut and do it over again and retake it. There's a sense of community. The people that I've done theater with over the years, we're still friends. We're still close because of the bond that comes from doing theater. So I'm honored tonight to be a part of this festivities, and I'm even more honored that, that, and, and, and humbled by the fact that they would decide to recognize me with a Trailblazer Award. Well, deservingly so, and it's an honor to speak with you, sir, and thank you so much, and enjoy the evening. Thank you very much for the time.